Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can set up your foot size tasks on AI Obal. Now, before we start this video, you got to make sure that to, in order to set up your tasks on any site, you're going to want to have first your billing profiles ready. You want to have your proxy lists ready. You want to make sure you have uh, cookies harvested if the site requires you to harvest them. And you want to make sure you have the settings configured as well. We have videos for all of these. Uh, already posted on our YouTube channel, so do make sure to check them out. Uh, but anyways, to get into how you set up your tasks for foot sites, first thing you want to want to do is go to the task tab, and you want to click on Add New. And then you're going to want to select foot sites. Uh, then you're going to want to select the foot site that you want to go after. For the sake of this example, we're going to use Foot Locker, uh, which is usually the foot site that has the highest stock. However, I highly recommend whenever there's a foot size release to kind of go and set up tasks for every different foot size. Uh, as you ne may never know how difficult it may be to get uh, an item on one foot size compared to another. The next thing that you want to want to do is you're going to want to get the PID. The PID stands for product ID. And it's just pretty much a way for the site to identify, uh, it's kind of like a code that a site uses uh, to identify a product on a site. And uh, each product has a unique PID. Uh, so to get this PID, you can usually just kind of go on the foot site. Uh, in this case, we have Foot Locker here. And then you can go to releases. And now, we're going to use this as an example. While these are just releasing in store, just for the sake of this example, we'll take the PID from these. And as you can see here in the title, you have the PID. So you're going to take this, you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it here. Now, a small note about the PID is that usually we will post the PID in our Discord guides, so there's no need for you to go to the site and manually get the PID uh, for the different products on the different foot sites. And also, it's worth noting that the PID on Foot Locker tends to be different than the PID on the other foot sites, so it's also worth like uh, ma making sure that you pay attention to that. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to allocate a proxy list. Now, I have already uh, created a proxy list that uh, I have just kind of added to the proxies that I find optimal for foot sites. So I'm going to do that here in this case. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the size. Now, for foot sites, you can either uh, use random sizing or single sizing, but you're not allowed to use multiple sizing. So what I mean by that is, let's say you're gonna wanna go for single sizing, a specific size, then you can go for a size 10, for example. Uh, now, let's say you wanna go for a random sizing, then you can just pretty much go for random. Now, what if you wanna go for multiple sizing, such as 10 and 11? Now, this usually works on certain sites, such as Shopify sites, however, Foot Locker or foot sites in general in AI Obot do not support this feature at the moment, so you won't be able to use multiple sizing. So you're gonna either have to go for a specific size or you're gonna go for random. I'm gonna go for random in this example. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is allocate your billing profiles and then you're gonna wanna select a delay. Uh, the delay is usually based on you know what is recommended in the Discord guides. Uh, you could use something such as 5,000, for example, at the moment. You could use something higher as well. You could use uh, 7,500, for example. You know, 8,500, whatever it is. Usually, the recommended delays can be found in the Discord guides. So make sure to check these out. And after you select your delays and you set up everything else, you can go ahead and click save. And that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up your uh, foot sites task. If you want to edit it, you can go ahead and click this. Uh, if you want to duplicate the task, you can do that. If you want to delete the task, that. If you have a bunch of tasks, like 50, 100 tasks or whatever, then you can kind of start them all at the same time. Uh, if you want to stop all the tasks, then just click on this. And if you want to delete all the tasks after a drop, you could also click on the delete all button. And, uh, you know, if you want to, let's say you have a bunch of tasks. So let's say you have one, two, three, four, you have a bunch of tasks. And what you could do is uh, you could select certain tasks by just holding control and clicking on the one that, that you want or just pretty much dragging over the task that you want to edit. And you could 
decide to start these select tasks rather than starting all the tasks and rather than just clicking one by one, you could just drag over the ones that you want to start and just click start, select the tasks. Uh, you could also decide to stop selected tasks and that way uh, you won't have to stop all the tasks that are running. You could just pick the ones that you want to stop. Same thing for deleting as well. You could just delete the selected tasks. And you can even schedule start selected tasks. So if you want certain tasks to start running at a specific time, you could also go ahead and click on that and pick the time that you want to uh, schedule the task for. Now, before I go into exploring the features such as mass selected task edit and the mass selected ta task delay edit, I wanted to first discuss uh, this little thing here that we have in the task, which is the different task modes, the normal and the multiplexer task mode. Now, uh, at some point, these were two different modes in the bot. However, nowadays, uh, in AIO bot, these are the exact same task mode. So if you use normal, if you use multiplexer, it's the exact same thing. Sometimes you'll realize after you com have completed an update for the bot, you may realize that your tasks automatically change to multiplexer mode. That is okay. It's not a problem. Uh, at, this, at the time being, they're, you know, uh, for the time being, they're the exact same task mode. So it's just not an issue. But to go back to the point of discussion, so if we had selected these amount of tasks, what you could do is uh, you could decide to mask select task delay edit. And what this does is instead of going into each and every task and editing the delay one by one, you could just go ahead and edit the delay for these tasks. So I'm gonna go for something like 9,000. And as you can see, if I hover over this now, it'll show me that the task delay is 9,000 milliseconds. Whereas if you go here, it's 8,500 as I first set it up uh, when I was setting up the task. Now, uh, what you could do is, is you could also go ahead and click on mass selected task edit. And what this allows you to do is allows you to edit certain features of the task. So for example, if you, right now we have it set as random, but what you could also do is you could select a size such as 10 instead. And then once you click save, you will see that the size here now has changed. You could also uh, mask, uh, mass edit the, uh, the billing profile, for example. Right now I just have one, but instead of using your test billing profile, you could use another one. Let's just say that your certain billing profile that you're using is encountering issues. That would be a good way to kind of change all the tasks that are using that billing profile and mass edit it. Uh, you could also go ahead and change the task modes. As we just said, normal and multiplex are the exact same thing, but assuming they weren't, then that would be a very helpful feature if one mode is working better than the other. You could also go ahead and change the proxy list as well. You know, let's say my foot size proxies that I, you know, thought they were really good on foot sites didn't perform, as, aren't performing as well during the drop. So I may want to switch to another proxy list that I have. And finally, you could also mask, mass edit the delays over here as well. The work, this uh, works the exact same thing as you know through the other method that we first discussed when you uh, right click and just select mass select task delay edit over here. Uh, for this, the Shopify password is not relevant for this uh, for foot sites task. And finally, browser checkout is pretty much a feature that you could use if you if you want to manually check out rather than have the bot auto checkout. Now, I wouldn't advise you doing uh, or using browser checkout, and I highly 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 recommend you just allow the bot to auto checkout. Uh, but if you wanted to experiment with it, sure, why not? Just try it on one or two tasks, but highly suggest you stick to auto checkout for now, unless the guides have mentioned otherwise. Now, whenever you have uh, your tasks running, you wanna make sure that you click on logs. So you can have the task logs pretty much appear here whenever you're running the task. And the task log will tell you what's the status of your task. Uh, in other words, it'll tell you what is going on within your task while you're running. And I cannot stress this enough, but task log is really the most important thing that you could analyze uh, during the release. You really want to make sure that your tasks are running okay. And post-release as well, when you don't know what happened, when you're going to communicate with any support staff, you're also going to want to show them the task logs. Uh, because without the task logs, they wouldn't be able to tell you what went wrong. Uh, during the release. 
right? Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, now, when you're first starting out the task logs, it may seem confusing. There's a lot of things on the task logs that you know you may not be familiar with. We do have a sheet in our Discord that does also explain what the different task logs mean for foot sites. And we will be adding further lists as well for task logs for other sites as well in the near future. And one last point that we haven't covered yet uh, is the CAPTCHA for foot sites. Now at the moment for foot sites, CAPTCHA is not mandatory. Uh, most of the times you're gonna check out without needing to solve any CAPTCHAs. Now there are rare cases where uh, your task may need you to solve a CAPTCHA. And that's usually when foot sites have identified as something being suspicious with your task or with your proxy. Uh, in that case, you could just go ahead and either, uh, you know, you could decide to restart the task if you want, or you could just go ahead and solve the CAPTCHA. Uh, now, like any other CAPTCHA, you want to first make sure that you actually sign in with uh, on, your, uh, on your Gmail. So you're going to want to go on YouTube, and then you're going to want to sign in uh, as you would usually do. And then once you're signed in, uh, you can go ahead and select the different CAPTCHA solvers that you want. So for example, I could have one open for Foot Locker, I could have one for East Bay, and I could have one for Champs, and then I could have one even for Foot Action as well. And yeah, I mean, and even Kids, kids Foot Locker. And so if there was a case where one of your tasks needed you to solve a CAPTCHA, then you would be ready. Uh, but as we said, most of your tasks, most of the times, you're not even going to have to deal with any CAPTCHAs at the moment for your foot sites. But, you know, other than that, pretty much explored all the different things that you need to know uh, when it comes to setting up your tasks for foot sites on AIO bot. And other than that, you know, I'll see you in the next video.